Hey folks, my name is Jürgen, aka Nerd and Proud of It, and Destiny has brought you to my channel today, because I won't let you stand outside in the rain, yeah, you have just seen it. We're gonna switch on Yoda, we're gonna talk about a couple of unlimited cards I bought today. Let's take it down a notch, let's install the camera here, folks, and let me tell you why I bought unlimited cards. But first, before we get to that in a minute, I promise it in a minute, um, I wanna thank everybody for the great reactions yesterday to the open letter to wizards of the coast loved it um i got a lot of new subs because of that as well uh great you all found your way back to the channel and of course um i want to thank my patreons for supporting the channel that way a big thanks to everybody I i'm really glad you're here uh, i thought about buying brothers war because as you know as some of you know <laughs> I always say, as you know, but only some of you know. I just finished my antiquity set. Yeah, I, I, I flipped through the pages. I got my duplicates in the back. A couple of weeks ago, I finished the set. Really happy about it. And I I really love antiquities. And I was looking forward to Brothers War so much. But what I did was I decided not to buy it. And I decided not to buy any Wizards of the Coast products for now. The reaction when Wizards of the Coast was asked, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna throttle down the releases? And they said, not really, like they don't give a shit. Then at that moment, I decided, hey, fair enough. Then I don't give a shit neither. I buy old cards. Rather support my LGS than support you guys. But yeah, that's how it is. Um, so what did I do? <laughs> I bought old cards. <laughs> I bought unlimited cards. Uh, I'm I'm working on an unlimited collection. I just bought some cards. I think I am nostalgic about, um, and yeah, we're gonna have a look at them. That's uh, that's what we're gonna do today. Cursed land, folks. It's um, it's not the most spectacular card, I know, but I hadn't seen it back in the day a lot around. So for me, it seems kind of rare. Tranquility, love the artwork, uh, love the card as well. I think it's a very powerful card, at least it was back in the day. You could get rid of all the enchantments on the table and that was always something nice to have, a nice weapon to have. The blue elemental blast. Yeah, these things are not cheap. And I will tell you what I paid for all of these at the end of the video. So no worries. I will tell you the exact prices as I always do when I old, uh, when I old, <laughs> when I'm old, I'm old, I'm old, when I buy old cards. Um, Circle of protection blue. Yeah, I didn't have that one yet. So <laughs> I saw it and I ordered it. Regrowth. Very cool card. I think an underrated card. I normally try to play it in my uh, old school deck and uh, yeah, try to, to get one of those uh, very, very good cards like uh, Demonic Tutor or Ancestral Recall back from the graveyard. I, uh, I, I enjoy um, the regrowth. Dark Ritual, that was a story, folks. Um, let's have a look at this one. This, All these cards, by the way, should be near mint. Uh, I bought them at Bazaar of Magic in the Netherlands. Normally they're a little more expensive than uh, the rest, but uh, yeah, they are nice. And I, at the moment, think it's uh, fair enough to support them. Um, I wanted to buy a play set of these, and I'm having a very close look at this one. Yeah, there you see it. There's a little... There's a little dent on there, and I, for me, that's not near mint. And uh, you will see later on as well, but I can tell you now too, I paid 25 euros for this one. Um, I wanted to buy a play set. They had four in stock, and I uh, ordered all four of them, and I thought, hey, cool. An unlimited play set, Dark Rituals, would have been 100 bucks, but they didn't have uh, all four <laughs> in stock. Um, yeah, if you look at it in under the black light, uh, it's uh, definitely not near mint. It has its scuffs here and there. Um, they didn't have all four of them in stock and only three of them. And I thought, yeah, then I can chase uh, one dark ritual down uh, somewhere. I don't know. I, I, I was like spontaneously hitting buy, but then I said, okay, uh, just send me one. I hope they didn't send me the worst one of the near mint ones, but uh, just send me one and uh, I uh, have chosen for the 75 bucks I didn't spend on this one. I have chosen some other cards and I will show them in another video. Unsummons, uh, I actually bought five, but I put one in the unlimited binder as well. 
already. Um, so I saw these, bought a playset, uh, were fairly priced, uh, various conditions uh, from uh, like uh, light plate to, uh, to good. The one I have in the binder already should be near mint. And there's a rare for you folks. Uh, wasn't wasn't too cheap. Um, I don't have that one yet. Uh, I liked the card back in the day. I actually played it, uh, prayed it. I prayed to get it. Sometimes I played it in my uh, in my green deck uh, very uh, early when I started. Um, yeah, uh, I, I like it, but it was quite expensive. And uh, last but not least, a favorite of mine, that Zombie Master. I love this card. I think it's an awesome card. Um, I saw people play zombie decks back in the day. This one is uh, near mint. The price was accordingly. Again, I will tell you in a minute what I paid for all of these. Um, I still think it's okay. Uh, I, I, yeah, it has a scuffs the here and there as well, like a little rough around the edges. I, I, I used uh, to say, um, but uh, it is a really cool card, and I honestly, yeah, I'm very happy. I can add it to the collection. So what we're gonna do, folks? Um, we're gonna double sleeve these. Uh, I'm gonna put timestamps uh, in the video as well. I wanted to say that in the beginning, but I guess you see it uh, and uh, split the video in the parts of the intro, uh, the parts of having a look at the cards, uh, the part uh, of uh, adding them to the uh, binder, because that's what we're gonna do as well. And of course, the part where we talk about the cost. So in general, folks, I'm not planning spending a lot on Magic the Gathering at the moment. I think I can manage um, with the stuff I still have, uh, as well uh, the sealed stuff I, I, I still have um, in terms of play. I, I often play with my brother and my friend, often, every couple of weeks. Normally when I'm uh, in Germany visiting my parents, my brother is dropping by and then we're, uh, we're playing Magic the Gathering. And I sometimes do like a board game weekend with friends. I had uh, two of them actually over the last two, three months. But uh, for now, I think the next time I'm be, I'll be able to play is around uh, Christmas time when I, when I visit the family. Um, I think I can manage with the stuff I have, so I won't buy anything for now. Ah, I love that card. Well, I guess we're gonna get a uh, <laughs> we're gonna get a nice token out of the 30th uh, anniversary edition for Aspect of Wolf. Yeah, yeah. Um, I just, I just don't feel it. Uh, I don't feel it. It's, it's, it's. They, they don't listen, uh, and they don't have to listen, of course. But I don't have to buy uh, the, the, the. The statement that this product is not for me, uh, fair enough, but it's a very strange statement for a company. And uh, yeah, no, we're not gonna throttle down. Then you don't see the problem. You don't see that your customers are discouraged and uh, they have wallet fatigue and uh, that you're actually disrespecting them because you're pumping out product and then you're calling us price sensitive because your sales are down. Um, so we shall we sh should don't buy it. We shouldn't buy it. But uh, if we don't, we're price sensitive. Oh, all right, then I just don't buy it. <laughs> it's as easy as, as that. Um, I honestly think uh, it's uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a rough couple of weeks. I honestly think as well that if you can support your LGS with small buys like this, small buys, I, I, I just took the money for two collector boxes uh, and uh, bought singles. Um, yeah, maybe do so. They, they are going through a rough time. Uh, not a lot of people are dying. They are the ones hurting the most because of this, I think. I actually got comments yesterday that um, yeah, people were visiting the local LGS uh, during the Brothers War pre-release weekend and the tables were empty. And the owners actually said, we are not able to stay open much longer. And I think that's very sad, very sad to hear. I'm uh, really honestly sorry to hear that. And Bazaar of Magic is a big one. So I assume they are doing okay, but the bigger they are, they, the harder they fall sometimes. So yeah, uh, 
I, I thought it was good to spend it locally, even if I pay a little more. Let's have a look at the prices, folks. Yeah, I bought a couple of cards I won't show. I will show them in other videos on top. Uh, and of course, my address is on top. But I paid two euros 40 for the Circle of Protection. I played, uh, played, <laughs> I paid 560. 560 Jesus sorry 560 for the blue elemental blast I paid uh, 260 for the mint uncommon the dark ritual was 25 bucks the tranquility folks 2 euro 60 wow uh, not too cheap uh, but uh, for an uncommon I think it's uh, it's a fair price then we got the cursed land that that thing was ex actually 6 bucks 40 <laughs> And the regrowth was very, very expensive. I think I overpaid for that one, definitely 31 bucks. But yeah, it's near mint. Uh, I saw it, I didn't have it. Zombie Master as well. I think you can get it for between like 55 and 65 bucks. I paid 76. Um, the Aspect of Wolf, as you can see, 43. That's a little too expensive as well. Maybe uh, 10, uh, 15 bucks, but yeah. And the unsummons two three bucks as you saw um in total uh with the other cards and you saw there of course a little sneak peek i bought some arabian night cards as well and i um uh will show these probably tuesday uh at uh, on on, on random by tuesday yeah if you don't know I, I i divided the week in a couple of uh certain things i normally do on certain days on monday we normally crack a pack I have to see how I uh, gonna do that without buying any product. Uh, on Tuesday, I normally show you something I randomly buy. Buy? <laughs> it's one of those days. It's not even Monday. It's Thursday. I guess I need I need weekend. I randomly bought uh, on Wednesday. It's just uh, story time. I, I talk about things I have in my collection that are not cards from Magic: The Gathering from the early days when I worked for the distributor in the Benelux. Um, talking about everything I like to talk about. Thursday, today uh, is Collection Thursday. I normally bonk. Yeah, I, I've been hitting the camera a hundred times today. Sorry for that. Um, just gonna get out the, the unlimited uh, binder to add these cards. Thursdays, I talk about my collection and adding stuff to my collection. And Fridays, it's end of the week. Friday, uh, we're just uh, gonna talk what's, uh, uh, yeah, about what uh, is bothering me that day. Saturday normally is whatever the fuck I want Saturday. So uh, yeah, it can be anything, other card games, board games, I don't know. Uh, recently it was ranting about Wizards of the Coast. And on um, Sunday I normally do short. Uh, I did a short for the antiquities, check these out. Uh, I completed my set and I did a short with a card. I added to the collection every single day. And uh, yeah, I um, yeah, the Circle of Protection Blue already edited it, and uh, we're gonna move on to the black cards. And I uh, normally do a short about the most iconic Magic the Gathering cards on Sunday. So that's uh, that's how the week is structured, and of course, it can differ uh, if I make a video in between about something I like. The Blue Elemental Blast here between the Animate Artifact and the Brain Guys here, so that's another one down carefully, so I don't hurt the Near Mint cards. And um, then we're gonna move on to the Black cards. So. Couple of cool cards in here. The that page is shaping us uh, up nicely, I have to say. So uh, I I like it. Uh, the blue cards. I always had a lot of blue cards, and I think I got the most blue cards uh, all out of all the colors uh, in uh, the, my unlimited set. Uh, here's the unsummon. Uh, the other four here. I, I thought, yeah, let's get a playset. Maybe I can use it in like a like a vintage deck or something uh, just for fun. And I added the near mint one already, so I don't confuse them um, and I don't mix up. Uh, uh, added it to the front of the binder. I'm gonna add the other ones to the back of the binder. I do my add my duplicates to the to the back of this binder. Cursed land should be around here. We got, uh, of course, uh, the black knight, and I think bog wraith, and then uh, something else, and be behind no next next to the cursed land should be the dark ritual i probably overpaid a lot for that one but 
it looks it looks nice and yeah it's okay to support your lgs once in a while right um zombie master should be the last card uh of the black cards here and it is i like these kind of rares i i bought a couple of them i bought the nightmare bought the word of command a while ago already uh i bought them all for a pretty fair price i think 76 bucks for the zombie master is quite a heavy price but look at it uh it's uh it's not gonna leave this collection and uh, i'm i'm happy with it so fair enough um green ones then we should have the aspect of wolf is it up there no there's the wheel of fortune missing i think that's the last red card uh, alphabetically then we should have the aspect of wolf and then cards like the birds and there's another one uh in there so yeah it should be here i think um i think as well that it's okay to still buy these old cards um just buy second uh, on the on the on the second hand market on the secondary market um tranquility should be here next to the tsunami and then we got the regrowth which of course should be next to the regeneration yes that's nice uh, expensive regrowth but okay now it's okay to buy these cards if you enjoy them just just enjoy um what you yeah thousand a thousand <laughs> a thousand subs then we're gonna add the black lotus there um i think it's important to um yeah not be angry about what's happening and I, I, it's very difficult for me as well I, uh, there's a slot free there might be an alpha card incoming and uh, it might have been part of the buy it's important uh let me finish that thought not to be angry about what's happening it doesn't take away the memories you have it uh, doesn't take away all the good times you had with friends sitting down just playing magic the gathering it doesn't take that away from you it doesn't take away me enjoying this personal incarnation or this unlimited playset of stupid unsummons for a couple of bucks I, I i love it i'm gonna put it in a deck and uh i'm i'm gonna enjoy the cards so remember that folks you have good memories because of this game probably i hope you do i do and wizards of the coast is not gonna be able to take away those memories um that's it stay healthy stay frosty i talk to you next time folks let me know in the comments what you think if you are listening that late in the video still i really appreciate you thanks a lot bye bye